Hi, Gemini's. This is your September 2019 love and relationship reading. Now, for this reading, I'm going to be using my Soulmate Twin Flame Oracle deck. Now, I didn't turn the cards over because I wanted to see what comes up for you guys. I had to turn over the first card because it was actually a jumping card. This card fell out of the deck. So, the first card that came out for you, which was a jumping card, is I Want You Back. So... I'm feeling like for some of you, you may have walked away from a partner, you may have gave this relationship all you could and decided that you don't want it anymore, okay? But I'm feeling like now someone is realizing that and they want to come back to you. So let's see, the next card that we have is Sorry I Ghosted You, I'm Sorry for the Way I Treated You. I'm ready to reconcile. They come to you with the truth finally. So someone may come um, wanting to talk about something, wanting to be honest about the situation after, you know, you walking away from them. The grass was not greener on the other side. And we also have taken you for granted. Okay. So, let's see. Sorry I ghosted you. For some of you, this partner could have walked away from you and now you're deciding to just let it go because I feel like this is something that they do to you all the time. Okay, this is not the first time this has happened to some of you. This partner may have walked away before and you're like, you know what, I'm done with this. I feel like someone is going to come back and, you know, be sorry for the way that they treated you, Gemini's. And they're going to notice that you don't care about this situation anymore, or this relationship or marriage. And I feel like they're going to want to get themselves together. Whoever you were dealing with, they were taking you for granted. I feel like you were telling this person that you were going to walk away if they didn't get their shit together and they didn't believe you. And now I feel like for some of you, you did walk away. Now, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with each and every Gemini out there. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But someone took you for granted for the last time because I feel like some of you walked away from a partner. Now, their partner is going to be realizing the grass was not greener on the other side. But they're ready to come back. They're ready to reconcile. I feel like somebody is going to be bringing you the truth. They're going to want to talk. And you're going to be like, why now? Like, why do you want to talk to me now? Like, I tried to get you to talk to me um, a long time ago. I tried to get you to be faithful to me a long time ago. Okay? So someone is coming back in here. But I feel like you're done. You've had it with this person. All right, so let's get into your reading and let's see what else comes out for you. Now, you did have the tower as a jumping card as well. So I feel like some of you may have had a tower moment with your partner. And this could have been the um, the moment that like caused you to say, you know what, I'm done. There could have been a fight, an argument, some chaos, you know, things just falling apart around you guys. Um, I feel like some of you are not talking to your partner right now. This could also lead to a tower moment. So if you didn't have a tower moment yet, for some of you, I feel like it's coming. Okay. Now you have the Queen of Swords. You have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And you also have the World card. So yeah, there was an ending here. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We also have fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But you're not talking to this partner and you really don't care. I feel like some of you are just not caring that you're not talking to this partner. You don't want to talk to them. It's like you just want them to get far away from you as possible because I feel like someone, you know, just keeps pushing and pushing. And I feel like they pushed you into this energy of being done with them because the world card is here. This is a cycle that's ending. We also have the moon card. We have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So with the Moon card being here, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. We have the Three of Pentacles reverse, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and then we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you're sick of someone's secrets. Somebody has some secrets here, and I feel like they tried to keep these secrets from you as long as they could. Could have been a third-party situation. Doesn't have to be, but... 
with the three of pentacles in the reverse you don't want to work on this anymore you're done you know this person may be coming back trying to talk to you about it because they were juggling they had you in a third party situation and you don't want to hear it anymore you're like you know what um, I feel like for some of you, you've been trying to get this person possibly to walk away from someone for quite some time. It's like you gave them enough chances is what I'm getting here. We had a three of wands in reverse. Yeah, some of you are no longer waiting on someone. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that, you give, that you're giving up on. We also have the ten of wands. You see this partner as a burden. And then we have the King of Pentacles here. So for some of you, it's definitely a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But I feel like they're going to try to come back and fix things with you. I don't feel like they want this to be done. They don't want it to be over because they see that you're serious and that you're not playing with them. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Seven of Swords. And we have the Four of Cups. So I feel like you were reaching out to this partner and they were just running in and out. They were playing games. They were being a player. They were just dealing with whoever they wanted to deal with. They were sneaking away from you to be with this partner. And I feel like you were trying to offer them love because you have the four of cups here. So you were trying to offer them love and they weren't focused on you. They were focused on this third party situation with these three of cups down here at the bottom. And I feel like you got fed up with that. This partner could have even told you several times that they left someone, but they really didn't. And you found out that they didn't. It could have been like by way of text message you found out or um, someone could have told you something. But you're tired of someone. It's like you're giving up on this situation, Gemini. And if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your partner feeling this way about you if they're cross-watching. But somebody is giving up, giving up on this relationship or this marriage. It's like they don't want it anymore. Yeah, see, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Fool card in the reverse. And we have the two of wands. So somebody needs to make a decision or you needed someone to make a decision and they were dragging their feet. I feel like this person took too long and you made the decision for them. And you just was like, you know what? I'm done with it because the full card is here in reverse. So this is not wanting to go on a new journey, not wanting things to work out, not caring if they work out, not putting any more energy, effort or time or emotions into, into this relationship with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. I feel like some of you are looking at the situation as to you've put enough in already. And whoever you were dealing with, they weren't doing their fair share. I'm looking at the Seven of Pentacles. And now that it's in the reverse, I'm feeling like you, somebody could have been taking care of someone. And now you're fed up with that. It could have been like where this person didn't have a job or you were just, you know, trying to help them get back on their feet and they weren't appreciating you. But you have the page of swords here. Some of you could be dealing with another um, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Ten of Cups. We have water here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we have the Six of Swords. This person doesn't want you to leave, Gemini. Now they want to come around and they want to give you this emotional fulfillment that you were looking for for quite some time. But you're out of here. You're out of here with the six of swords. Like, you know, you're feeling like this is not going to be beneficial for you. This is not going to be something that you want in your future. But now I feel like this person is watching you. You have the page of swords here. So now they're why It's like they're either somebody is watching your social media page or they're just watching you in general. Because whenever the page of swords comes up. Next to the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords, this is someone who's stalking you because they don't want you to leave. They're trying to see, like, why you're leaving. Like, they, this person is so vain. I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who's so vain and they're so self-centered and they really don't even get why you're making an exit. They should, but they don't. They're actually looking at the situation as you may be leaving them for someone else. But I feel like for the majority of you, you're like, no, I'm leaving you solo. Like, I don't have anyone. I can find someone in the future. But for now, I'm getting the hell out of Dodge because you're full of shit. And you keep saying you're going to do something that you're not doing. I feel like somebody keeps telling you that they're going to fix this or they're going to make a change or they're going to make things right and they don't do it. So now that you're leaving, this person wants to come in. They want to stalk you and watch you and then offer you the Ten of Cups. And you're like, no, I don't want it with the Six of Swords. Now you don't want it. 
Yeah, so you have the Eight of Swords here. You have the Five of Swords. And you have the Hermit. So I feel like you guys turned your back on someone. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, with this Five of Swords, I feel like this person is really regretting something that they did to you. It's like they're waving the red flag. Do you see that? It's like they're done. They're saying, okay, enough. I get it. But you're like, no, no, it's over. You're like, it's over. I can't deal with it anymore. I feel like for some of you, you did go back and forth on a situation for quite some time, Gemini, and you gave it all you had with this eight of swords. I feel like you sat in this eight of swords energy for as long as you could, and now you can't sit in it anymore. Some of you went back and forth on, well, if I leave, will I find someone else? If I leave, am I doing the right thing? You know, if I stay, will this person treat me right? Or will I be sorry in the end? So you have the magician. You have the page of pentacles. And you have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, someone is definitely trying to put the work in now. Ain't that crazy? Like, I feel like for some of you, it's been years you've been waiting for this person to come around and either commit to you or um, marry you or just, you know, respect the relationship, respect you. And they didn't do it. And now that you're leaving, this person is trying to manifest a new beginning with you. They're offering you the page of pentacles, which is now they're trying to offer you stability. Now they want to work on things with the eight of pentacles. And now you're looking at the situation like, why now? I feel like some of you may have served someone with divorce papers or someone, maybe some of you just walked away, stopped communicating and cut someone off. And now they get it. Because I feel like somebody is so used to you saying, I'm walking away, but you don't do it. So they, they didn't see any action behind it, Gemini. But now that you're putting action behind it, I feel like you're putting things into motion. I feel like a lot of you have your own uh, things going on in your life, whether it be your career, um, hobbies, like side interests. And you're no longer focused on this person. And whoever it is, they're noticing it. They see it. And I feel like it's scaring them. It's actually, they're scared. They're like, oh, wow, like he is leaving or she is really leaving. So now they're trying to come in and they're trying to offer you something. You have the four of swords. Yeah, you have the five of pentacles. And you have the knight of swords. See, yeah, now this person is feeling left out in the cold now. I feel like somebody was leaving you out in the cold for quite some time. And now you're leaving them out in the cold. And now they're rushing back in with the knight of swords trying to handle the situation. But it's too late. It's like they don't know what to do. I feel like somebody is scrambling. It's like they, they've done some thinking. And now they see that you're serious. So now they're ready to leave this third party and focus on you. And now you you don't care anymore. Yeah, I feel like you're leaving someone out in the cold now. But they have they left you out in the cold for quite some time. They ignored you and weren't giving you any attention. And now that you're doing it to them, they don't understand. They don't get it. It's like they're ready to come out of this two of swords energy. The two of swords is in reverse here. They're ready to come out of this energy before they were confused. They didn't know what they wanted. You were trying to get this person to come around, commit to you, talk to you, be with you, spend time with you, and they weren't doing it. But now they're ready to do it. You have the judgment card here. Wow. And you have the ace of cups. So now they want to offer you a new beginning. That's ridiculous. And now I feel like you're angry about it, Gemini, if this is you who's feeling this way, because it could be the cross watcher. But if this is you that's feeling this way, you're angry as hell because you're like, you know what? I asked you for this a long time ago. So now that you want to come and put in the effort, I feel like somebody wants to stop. It's like they see your growth. They see you in a new light. They see you doing things differently. 
they see that you're not talking anymore like you're actually putting some action behind your words because i feel like for quite some time you just kept telling this person like i'm going to walk away from you you know i'm going to leave you like you know i'm not going to be with you anymore and they just were you know they was looking at it and they were taking it for granted and they was like oh he's not going nowhere she's not going anywhere they say that but then they still stay and i feel like you did that for a long time and now you're through with this person and they can't take it. They don't know how to deal with it because we have a judgment here. They want you back. They want a second chance, Gemini. And I feel like this person is going to try to do everything that they can to keep you around. They're definitely watching you. With that page of swords showing up there, they're watching your every move just to see what you do. Because they, they now see that they don't have you like they used to have you. And now that scares them. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lied Tarot. I'm also on Instant Go. So if you have a question and you want to reach out to me there, you can do so. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.